Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, thanks for joining. My name is Kelly. Um, today's video is just kind of a day in the life video. It's currently 2.15, so it's a little late in the day to be starting the vlog, but here we are. Um, I just put my son down for a nap and I figured I would show you guys the things I picked up today from Home Goods and Marshalls because they're finally starting to put new things out. And at this point, I'm just on a journey to try to furnish this entire house. <laughs> I think it's like 80% done, but it needs like some fine tuning here and there. Plus my style is like changed from when we first move in. I kind of think I have an idea of what I like. So I just want to show you these things. Oh, and if you saw my most recent video where I tested out the Pattern Beauty uh curl gel i used it again today well yesterday and i paired it with the mael like honey pomegranate uh custard in the pink and like burgundy packaging just to use like both of them up completely and i really like how it turned out today so Definitely paired with the gel, gives more hold, but it's very soft still, but it has a lot of definition, so just to let you know. Anyway, let me show you the things that I got. Okay, so here's an overview of the things that I got. I picked this coloring book up because it's gonna be a birthday gift for one of my friends, and I thought it was super cute. Adult coloring books, let me know. And then we got, I got a new, spatula so i switched over to like all silicone utensils cooking utensils a while ago and we got these we had a gift card to crate and barrel so i picked these up and I was like, oh these are so cute they're black with a wooden handle and they are not the best quality so that just goes to show you if you spend more money it doesn't always equate to better quality because some of these are like super loose where they connect and I could super glue it, but it's from a higher end brand than Home Goods, so I figured it would last longer, but you know, here we are. So I went and got these from Home Goods the other day and I really enjoy these. Um, so I picked up a spatula and it was four bucks. I got this bowl tray thingy that I'm thinking of putting at my entryway table. If you saw my like undecorate refresh with me, I left that entryway table very, very minimal and plain just because I was trying to just rearrange like what I already had. But I think I might wanna sit this up there and fill it with like, I don't know if I really want the sea moss or fill it with like some type of filler, right? Um, I got this book, which is the home edit. I might actually flip through it and see what it's about. I've, I haven't watched the show, um, but it was 15 bucks, but I kind of have just been on the hunt for more, even though we don't have a coffee table, more books with like cute spines <laughs> to set out as decor. And I got this cute, I didn't realize this was Tommy Bahama. Uh, this cute little two piece outfit for Vinny for spring and it looks so big. It's a 2T, but I feel like I mean, he's currently wearing like 18 months to 2T, but I feel like he could definitely grow into this. The 3T was huge. So it came with two little pairs of shorts and then two tops. I like this because I am very, very much into neutrals for him, like simple things that don't have a lot going on. But these colors are very, very pretty. So two outfits for 17 bucks. I got this bowl because um, sometimes I want to leave some fruit out to ripen up for him or ourselves and I didn't really have a place to put it. Plus the bananas are just like chilling on the counter way over there by themselves on nothing. So I thought I would tie this in and it would be a little bit more cute or potentially if I don't like that one on the entryway table, I can use this one. Then I got these, um, egg oh this one was 20 bucks which is kind of expensive but this one was only 10 and it has these cute little feet on it so it's a good deal um i got these for my refrigerator i need to deep clean my refrigerator because it's nasty and i have a lot of eggs these days and i figured this is a good way to be able to like stack them and it'll look prettier and i can see exactly how many i have so i'll wash those up and put the eggs in there 
And then I got more of these baskets. So if you saw my pantry organization video, you know that I got a bunch of these baskets like over the course of six months probably. <laughs> but these are a great steal, um, $7 at Home Goods. And I don't have a particular brand. I just, these were the last two that they had in this shape. So I got both of those. So both of those. And then I got this big one here, which was 20. Um, but I think I'm gonna use this to put the napkins in. Since we have a lot of them and they're just like chilling on the floor, this would be good for that. Or potentially something else later on down the road. And then they only had like one of, oh, this was super cheap, two bucks. Um, I have a bunch of these that I use to store like pantry items. And I was looking for some taller ones, but um, I do need a couple more. So I picked up this short one, which I was going to put the lentils in because it's a small bag. And then lastly, I wanted a reed diffuser to put in the bathroom um, in the bonus room upstairs. And this is a very neutral color. I figured it would smell good. It was $8. I'm going to do a bathroom refresh and show you guys that. Let's get the lighting back. Should we turn on some lights? Um, ooh. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my little snack right now because I'm hungry. Um, I feel like I'm always making my son some food and then I don't have anything to eat <laughs> because it just, you're, you're like an afterthought when it comes to like a child sometimes and feeding yourself. So recently I have been loving, back on a kick. I'll go on a kick and I'll eat like the same thing for a month straight and then I won't want it anymore. So recently I have been loving cinnamon raisin toast here, but I'm gonna jazz it up. Okay, so I don't know what's up with um, honey roasted peanut butter. It's my favorite peanut butter in the entire world. Regular peanut butter just doesn't do it. It's gross, but the honey roasted peanut butter is life. I normally get the Peter Pan, but I have not found it in months in any store and Amazon is selling it for an arm and a leg. And then I Google and I feel like there might've been a recall on some peanut butter. I don't know, am I not supposed to be eating it? Y'all let me know. But Jif has a version. It's very difficult to find. I can't remember if I found this at a Walmart somewhere, but like not every Walmart, one Walmart. Target doesn't sell it. I haven't seen it in like Food Lion. Maybe Harris Teeter, I don't really go in there. Um, and then sometimes Publix if I'm lucky. Anyway, I do a heaping scoop of this on the cinnamon raisin bread <laughs> after I toast it and eat that and it is amazing. So um, I'm gonna eat that and then I'll show you guys the bathroom refresh in a bit. Okay, this is what I ended up coming up with. <laughs> So I actually decided to put all of our chips in there because we buy the huge box from Costco and it just made more sense. And then I could put the rest of the chips and goldfish here. Um, I just moved the potatoes, which I don't have anymore, and the onions right there. I ended up just finding this basket in a closet and that's where I put the napkins for now. Move these into a bigger basket. I ended up putting my flax seed in here instead of the lentils um, because I forgot that I needed one for the flax seed. So that's what we have there. And I just moved the breadcrumbs to that one. And then I had this like teeny tiny one um, left over. So I'm just putting overflow of like canned items in here. I feel like it's starting, like it looks good up here, there. And then we start to get a little clutter down here. <laughs> Um, I generally take like a gallon of water to work and drink it. So that's why I have those, but I need to just buy a gallon bottle and just fill it up and drink that. Um, and then I need to find a more attractive way to store the napkins, but that's just what we have right now. Um, and this looks a little cluttered, but it is what it is and it's all organized and I'm done with it for today. This is what we got going on right now. So if you remember um, when I did like my fall refresh, we had a different mirror up here. Um, when my parents came to visit, we tried refurbishing the mirror that was up there. We wanted to paint it black because black is like, you know, the black mirror is like super in right now. But the way that mirror was set up, it was just looking too country and it was the, the trim on it was way too thick to do black. So I ended up just keeping it in the garage. <laughs> 
I actually found this one at Home Goods, um, and it was 150, which I think is a great price because it's 40 inches. It is huge if you could see it in person. It's a huge table, huge mirror, so I feel like they complement each other. And it's not black, but what I told my husband was if like after I took the Christmas decor down and cause my Christmas decor was like silver and gold. After I took the Christmas decor down, if I didn't like it, I would paint it black. But I mean, at this point I'm kind of liking the gold. This mirror, excuse me, this lamp here, we got a long time ago, like, but when we moved into the house and it's massive once again i don't know what it is with us and like really large furniture but it's a huge lamp um and it's a little too big to go on the desk in the office but i wanted to use it because i can't return it and it needs to go somewhere it's a beautiful lamp it's just huge i was thinking of maybe trying to find like a slimmer taller shade to go on it but let me know what you guys think um this is what i have so far this garland i am going to attempt to i just ordered some command hooks from like target drive up i ordered some command hooks because i'm going to attempt to like drape it across the mirror i've seen that and i really like that look um, that way it'll give it something like a pop of color and it'll tie in to like kind of fill in that space above the mirror since it's a huge little alcove um i already had these books if you read this, let me know. I tried to start reading it and honestly, it was kind of boring. So here we are as decor. Um, sorry, Michelle. Um, so I already had this and these flowers from somewhere. So that's where we are right now. I don't know if I like this. I completely forgot like what tone this table was and then it was clearly wood. So I don't know if, if once I put the garland up here, if like putting filler in there is gonna be too much floral at that point. I think I just wanna get some of those like wood, like balls, fillers, vase filler from like Target or something like that. Maybe something seasonal, some spring inspired one. Um, but that's what we have going on right now. I wanted to keep it very minimal. These are like classic pieces, big mirror, big table, big lamp, a little bit of greenery, trying to like level up here, look a little bit more grown and sexy, at least when you come in the house, because Lord knows the rest of the house ain't grown and I'm sexy. up here in the bonus room and it um, has a full bath in it, which we don't ever use the shower, but I do use the, <laughs> we do use the restroom up here just because it's very convenient versus having to go downstairs. But um, it's very plain. <laughs> and originally all I threw in here was like a, some soap and some toilet paper and some paper towels, but I want it to kind of like spruce it up. I mean, it's a good size bathroom, definitely, but it's very, very, very plain. Evidence of a toddler. And then these are towels, decorative towels I had like from years years ago so i just threw them in here originally and this was not here my mom was like you need to get a shower curtain because i'm tired just like looking at in the shower in there <laughs> so i picked the shower cup i picked the shower curtain up from target it was super inexpensive because i liked it wasn't just plain cream and then i was like oh it's like white white like this is cream but that's white white and so then like nothing went in here so i'm just going to do a little bit of sprucing up and then show you what it looks like This is what we came up with. I'm gonna do a teeny tiny tour. I am so out of breath, <laughs> sorry. These towels that were on clearance at Target. So I got the hand towel and then another hand towel and the bath towel. They're not like the most favorite thing ever, but they're fine, they're black and white and that's what I wanted to go with. 
The rug is actually one that I cut in half. Um, so it's just black and white. I really like the pattern. It's modern for me. Gives it a little bit of dimension with all these different, everything's black and white, but it's like all different prints and patterns. So I like that. Um, my mom gave me this. <laughs> this is from Target. It's the, I'm pretty sure the Hearth and Hand brand. On the, I ordered it in like drive up and on the website it looked a lot more like white and black, but it's more of what they call, um, I think they call it sour cream and black, but it's fine. Soap and lotion. It's cute. It's minimal. This um, shelf is actually, it was two shelves. I didn't put the other one up because I thought it was going to be a little cluttered, but I got them from Home Goods. It's just black wire. It has a teeny tiny shelf on it, but it gives it some dimension. I just put that reed diffuser. I wish these were black because that would have set it off. And then this candle I already had some piece of greenery there, diapers in the basket. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. So it's, you know, cutish. It's fine for a bathroom that like no one ever sees really. And then as far as the rest of the room, whoa, we are super blue right now. Okay, so as far as the rest of the room goes, um, we have this, if you saw my other video, I told you about this couch that we have, it's the love sack. And then we just put these photos up. My husband put them up last night and I think they are the cutest. This is the only professional photo shoot we have done as a family. I didn't get any maternity photos professionally done, well, any at all done, nor did I get any newborn photos done. I don't know what I was thinking, so. This is um, in November of last year. So he had just turned one, but the frames are from Ikea and we actually got the photos printed from Walmart and they shipped them and it was very inexpensive, super easy to hang and it looks really pretty in here. I just got this throw today from Home Goods. It's huge. It's like a one of those queen size, like throw blanket, like an actual blanket for bed. But I wanted one that size because we like to keep a blanket up here and use it when we're up here watching movies and stuff. It's neutral. It goes with the pillows there. And then this is what I showed you guys the storage unit for the toys, but I didn't show you after I put the feet on them. So it comes with these like four where well, you buy them. Actually, it doesn't come with it. Um, the little peg feet. So I drilled those up there. It took me forever to figure out how to do it. <laughs> And then um, the felt baskets that I had to exchange for. But I like it. It's gray and white and everything's kind of like gray and white. My favorite colors, neutral. Um, I did pick, the previous owners had a bunch of these in the, what they were using as a nursery, which is currently my son's room. And we use them as bookshelves. So I had gotten a couple more because I thought about putting a couple more up in his room since he has so many books. But then we talked about maybe just putting them like here, because I feel like this wall is so big. It kind of needs something here, but nothing that's gonna compete with the photos. I don't really need anything crazy. So since he has so many books, we figured maybe we can just, if I just like put these on the wall, leave them the same color since the feet are the same color. And there's actually enough room right here to put another, a third one of these. So what do y'all think? Should I put a third one there? Because he definitely has enough toys to fill up a third one and then I could put a third bookcase or should I just leave it like that? I mean, I think I'm gonna leave it like that for right now, but for the future. But these we really like because we can go and like, these can transition to any room, like a bedroom, you can switch out the baskets if you want. So we'll have them for a while. I'm about to go get him up from his nap. Um, and then I need to go pick up my order from Target Drive Up. I just got like a couple there's always something. Tell me. It doesn't matter how many lists I make for the grocery store or Target or whatever. I always end up forgetting something and I feel like I place 75 drive up orders <laughs> and then I'm just adding random stuff at that point. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit.